Sadiq Khan dismissed a question about his Range Rover after he was grilled on the extension of the ultra-low emission zone in London. The mayor of London Sadiq Khan has launched an ultra-low emission zone, ULES, and other bold policies to tackle air pollution in London. But Tom from Leeds asked him, I come into London, I see a lot of people struggling daily, how can you justify extending the ultra-low emission zone? Also, are you going to give up your armored Ranger over for something cheaper to help cut emissions? Tom explained to Mr. Khan that he drives a Euro 6 lorry into London which complies with the ULES rules. Speaking on LBC, Mr. Khan said, as a consequence of my policies, you're now emitting far less toxic stuff into our air than previously. Previously the lorry you drove into our city nitrogen oxide and carbon. It's partly responsible for children in our city for having permanently stunted lungs and adults having a whole host of health issues from asthma to dementia. Because of the policies that you don't like but are following we've managed to reduce toxic air in our city by almost a half and we're seeing life expectancy for the first time for those children going upwards, he added. It's the poorest Londoners who will suffer the most from low quality air. The mayor's initiative is expected to save the NHS around £5 billion and more than 1 million hospital admissions over the next 30 years. But broadcaster Christo Falfus has previously branded Mr. Khan a hypocrite when he has driven around in a 5-litre Range Rover. Speaking on his talk radio show, Mr. Falfus said, You're going to tell me, a childless single man what I need to do to stop the planet going to hell and high water. I'll tell you what. Start yourselves. Sadiq Khan is being driven around in a £300,000 5-litre Range Rover and you're telling me to get rid of my car? Absolute hypocrites. It comes as Transport for London, TfL, is considering a government offer to extend financial support by seven weeks. The transport body said it is reviewing the proposal made by the Department for Transport, DFT, but continues to seek a long-term deal. The collapse in passenger numbers during the coronavirus pandemic has decimated TfL's finances, leading it to require government funding to keep services running. A £1.60 billion bailout was agreed in May 2020, followed by a £1.80 billion deal in November which expires at the end of March.